Does the presence of a former business owner still keep a watchful eye over his property? Our team attempt to find out in Spiral's first investigation. At the owner's request to protect its identity, we're referring to the location only as the studio house, as Alexis and Mark recce the property prior to the investigation. Our first investigation, um, which was a nice place, thanks to Alexis. I've worked here for six, well, over six years now, and I don't like being here on my own, and I don't often get that feeling, especially in two certain places. Which we can all vouch for, because you're quite a sort of strong-willed person. Yes, yeah. I'm not that easy to convince once I've made my mind up about something. So. Straight through here is the first reception. Look. With our crew assembled, consisting of Alexis, Hannah, Lisa, Byron, and Mark, we begin the location walk round. Mm, I feel that as well. Yeah. Mm. The sizes are exactly the same. Really? Everything is exactly the same. Does the essence in the building belong to former owner Danny? And would he be making his presence felt tonight? With cameras turned to night vision, the team begin the vigil in Studio One. Hey, how is everyone doing? Right? You're feeling all right? Yeah, no worries. I'm just making polite conversation because it was in the dark. Oh my God! No, no, that, that. Okay, you're looking at me and you're saying, "Oh my God, can you not do that, or at least explain what the <laughs> you're talking about?" How are you feeling, Alex? Really excited now. Really excited. So we can't dismiss that. It could be. It could be dust. It's too. It's, uh, once I see it on a big television. Yeah. And the big yeah. sixteen to nine. I'm, can you spare me a second? I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm not ignoring the ladies over there. I just want to just see if anything else happens. Have you got something glowing on you, um, no. Byron? My, watch, my, my watch, watch is uh, the is dials. Door? I've just got another one, going across Byron's chest. Sure. Because if there's a reflection in it and it looks like the reflection's moving. And my eyes are still getting used to the light actually. Yeah. So I'm only just sort of yeah, starting to Would well, anyone like to actually um <clears throat> call out? Does anyone feel brave enough? Who wants to be who wants to do yeah, that? I don't mind. Would you mind, Hannah? No. <clears throat> okay, if everyone's just silent. I think if there is anyone in this room to make us aware that they're here. Could they make a noise? Is anyone here? Could you make a noise? Maybe move something, knock something, tap on the table. Maybe also Lex is familiar because she works here. It sounds really silly and it might just be because I've got it in my head or that I want it to be. But I've got really, really, really strong feelings of my nan sat next to me. Like, really strong. That's fine. That means probably that she's just looking out for you. Okay. Okay, and she's probably just around you. Yeah. Looking As a guide. You, yeah. She could even be your spirit guide. So, that's fine. Unfortunately, yeah, it doesn't help that it's a Friday night and everyone's oh. getting wankered outside. I keep seeing things in my peripheral and it's really annoying me. Yeah, it's probably just your eye line. Yeah, exactly. I think going it past as well. Sorry? It could be the traffic going yeah, past. Yeah, because it creates sort of shadows and things and the traffic going back and forth. <clears throat> I feel relaxed now. Yeah, I feel a bit more relaxed now because my eyes have adjusted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. I think, so. I think it also helps because we've got.
It was like a big shadow in the other room, but obviously it's the camera. Mm -hmm. I think we built this room up too much, so I think another room might surprise us a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I want to go to the one next door. Deciding to attempt a seance in a different room, the team move into the adjoining conference room one. Oh, I remember, yeah. No, this room just makes me feel like really horrible. Horrible. It's just... I don't know if it's because I work here and I'm used to seeing it, but I do feel like there's a lot of people in here and we've got goose pimples down my legs. I've got goose pimples. I'm, I'm, I've certainly got... Whoa! But we can sit down. Yeah, <laughs> I've got real goose pimples. Okay. Anyone's here? I'm back. I'm just going to live there. Anyone's here? Would you like to... Could you knock the wall? A little tap on the wall would be great. I do feel really shaky in this room. Yeah, I, I do. Just, I feel like really overwhelmed in this room. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Imagination goes so drawn to that corner in that room. I don't know what it is. See, that's I honestly in silence. In, in, I can really concentrate mm. and just f feel different. It's weird. We still don't make it talk to me. You just hear we that? do an Elvis impression, yeah. but make it talk to me. Braving it alone, Lisa investigates the restroom area. Although it takes her a few minutes I've, to get started. I've just been in here for about six minutes on my own and I haven't been recording and I've just first record. So hello, I'll go back on where I've just been. So this is the kitchen, uh, which is the second time I've been in here. That tap keeps dripping, which is a bit scary. <sighs> so I've got to go back into the ladies. <sighs> so I've got <sighs> so I've got my heart's racing and I am in the toilet area. So I'll take you a little bit. Is oh. <laughs> toilet very glamorous. There are. This is a room that creeps me out, but I don't know if it's because people say it's scary. For a first investigation, the results had proved very interesting. A trigger object had also been placed in Studio One, but produced no activity, as did the synchronisation of the clocks. I'm not disappointed, but for me, I didn't feel like there was anything that was concrete that made me go, oh, yes, there's a response. I think, that, you know, we saw maybe orbs on the camera and there was knocking, but whether it was a response to us or just the building shifting or people passing by and things. So, Very good point, yeah. Um, nothing concrete for me, but I know I got a bit scared. But Again, nothing concrete, but weird things. I felt some things tonight which were very, very weird. And I was just feeling a really moody mood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't weird. feel like I've got the right raven arse ache. Oh, no, I thought, that's the worst thing. <laughs> <ache. laughs> Seriously, I do feel like I've got the right ump. I, I think that once we got into it, it was okay. I think by the time we came back in this room, we were all just tired and, you know, we weren't expecting anything anyway. Yes. I mean, I want to be more hands on. I knew I could be sort of behind the camera both to know, but I want to be more involved in it next time. Yeah. Which is why I bring in another cameraman, because my energy was missing from, from the circle in a way. Yeah. It make, make any sense. Yeah. And that sounds a bit hippie ish, but you're right on. <laughs> um, but I think we've got a good little team here. Really think we're good to We know each other really well, so yeah. that that helps. So our energy is pretty strengthened. Light anomalies, knocks, and strange voices had given the team opportunity for open-minded discussion. Are these paranormal occurrences, or do they have a natural explanation? You decide. But the evening at the studio house did provide the team with a taster of things to come. <laughs> 